All right, so I had a customer bring in this Autel Maxi Flash Elite, but the problem is they included this USB jack with it. There's not much left to the pins there. They've been broken off the board. As you can see right here, that is where it attaches to the board. No connection any longer. So the customer was kind enough to include a bunch of USB type B jacks. There's the part number in case somebody might need that. USB female type B, 10 pack. So I think it's gonna be a simple matter of just cleaning the solder out of the holes and just attaching a new jack. Hopefully it's as easy as that. Okay, so comparing the new jack to the old jack look pretty doggone similar. I don't see much of a difference. The old one does have pin numbers printed into the plastic. The new one does not, but everything else appears to be pretty similar. I think it's going to be a plug and play situation. So I've got my Hacko warming up right here. We'll go ahead and just zip the old pins out of the board and hopefully the new one will just press into place. So here's what it actually goes into a J2534 ECU programming device. Okay, so I have added some fresh solder to the pins. I've got my hacko warmed up. I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum out anything that's in there. All right, so I've got all the holes cleaned off the board, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it with some of the Magical Solution Acetone. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove any extra flux that might be on the board here. Dry it off. Hit it with some fresh acetone once again, because I'm gonna go ahead and add some hot glue to this to help reinforce the mechanical bond to the circuit board. And I want it completely free and clean of any oils or any other substance. That looks perfect. Let's go ahead and clean the other side just to be safe. Looking good right there. Let's go ahead and let's get that hair off the board there from the acid brush. All the holes are clean. This one doesn't look too good, but the hole is actually clear. So I think it's gonna be okay. Let's go ahead and mount the new jack on the board, solder it up in place. Then we'll add a good glob of hot glue around the outside of it to reinforce it. And I think it's gonna be good. All right, here we go. I'm gonna add a nice glob of solder. I just want it to really take well. So I'm probably gonna add a little extra to it. All right, now we'll hit it with some more acetone to clean it off. All right, that looks absolutely perfect. Now let's flip the board over and add some hot glue to reinforce the mechanical bond of the jack to the board. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of acetone to wipe off the board and the jack just to make sure the mating surfaces are clean. There we go, that should be fine. Got my hot glue gun all warmed up here. I'm just gonna put a nice bead all the way around this guy. There we go, that should reinforce the mechanical strength of the jack to the circuit board. So hopefully this customer never has a problem with this again. So I'm gonna let the hot glue cool and then I will reassemble this unit and that'll be it. All right, so the hot glue has cooled off. Everything's good. The jack is mounted on there very securely at this point. Hopefully many, many more years of use out of this Alltel programming device. All right, well, there it is, all back together. The Autel Maxi Flash Elite J2534 ECU programming device. Nice USB B plug mounted back in there, all put together. The customer did not supply me with these two screws for the vehicle plug connector, but I think it's all gonna be okay. 
So I certainly hope you enjoyed this quick little video on replacing the USB jack on the Altel device. Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below. I try to read all the comments and respond when I have time. While you're down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really helps my channel grow. Remember, you can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me NorCal715videos at gmail.com. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Everybody, once again, thank you so much for watching this quick little video on the Alltel Maxi Flash Elite. I really do appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.